Hello, welcome to part two. If you've come across from the first one, well done. Medal to you, have a biscuit. This video, we're gonna show how effective it is to run Steam on Ubuntu. Now, we're running 14.10, as mentioned in the first video, and we're gonna run 2 2013 at ultra settings. Now, you guys don't believe me, do you? You don't believe me? <laughs> he doesn't believe me, look. No chance. No chance, apparently not. It's not gonna happen. No. Can't run it. Ubuntu's not gonna run any game at ultra settings. No, it's, it's just too good. No way. Here we have the setup. We're running a little Dell D530, as you can see. And then it's just put a secondary monitor plugged in for added effect. And then the system it's streaming it from is the EVGA Hadron that we've built here. Obviously there you can see it's Tomb Raider. Selected, ready to play. So let's get cracking. Dell D530, Linux. 1410 Ubuntu, as you can see, running on here nicely. Nice and snappy and fast and useful. And here is Ubuntu 1410. Let's launch Steam and let's get cracking. So, Tomb Raider, as you can see, let's stream it. You now see that on both screens, it's ready to play. We'll now put it into 1080p. So this machine's the workhorse, doing all the work with that 290 graphics card. And it's broadcasting it to the client here, which is on Ubuntu. Continue, go. Remember, this is Linux, guys. It's not even a Windows operating system. How awesome is that? Now, some people have doubted that this is gonna work. Uh, who would they be? <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean look at that. Ultra settings. That's why it's pants. That's why it's pants. Fantastic stuff. Not the greatest frame rate, uh, I have to say, on Linux, but it's still working nonetheless. That looks like a good spot to hook into. That looks like a good spot to hook into. Let's do it. Okay, let's jump up. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that girl though. Right, let's go. She's good, this girl. So yeah, very, very cool stuff, as you can see. Streaming from here. Not from here. <laughs> very cool stuff. One thing I was gonna try was a racing game. So let's try NASCAR 14 demo from Steam and see how that plays. Quit this and we'll launch a racing title instead. So let's go up to NASCAR. Ba, 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 ba. Where are we? NASCAR 14. Let's try that. Stream. Same thing applies. It'll splash screen, resolution change from one to another. As you can see. Awesome stuff, this. You guys have got a spare old machine in the house? Give it a go. Turn it on, install Steam, log into your account, enable in-home streaming, play a game on it, see what it's like. Here we go. As you can see, this is how we know it's a remote desktop session, as it sort of broadcasts everything as of that point, as you stream. Quite clever stuff. Let's get ahead, go ahead and play uh, NASCAR. Ultra settings on this game, let's do it. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. is streaming from another machine. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Coming to the green. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Step it up. Super smooth. Keep digging. High side. Oh, damn. Oh no! 
He's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, he's fine. As you can see, streaming straight from the other machine here. Runs great. So yeah, as you can see, it's an absolutely awesome technology that's been introduced by Steam this year. And uh, it's quite beneficial for anyone that would need to be able to play a game on the same network with perhaps a, a lower spec computer. Now obviously it relies on a computer in the first place to be able to perform that well, to be able to broadcast it at that setting and that quality. But if you've got an old machine laying about and you wanted to play a game on it, you could. Or if your son or daughter wanted to play a game, they could. Or if a friend comes over and you want to sort of share it with them, they can play on it. Awesome stuff. I told you Linux could run it. <laughs> well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Take care for now. Bye. See ya.